last lecture we discussed about the two methods first was inspection method and the second was when the differential equation the given differential equation is non exact but having a homogeneous equation right so we discussed in the last lecture how to convert those or how to solve those non exact equations okay now in this lecture <coughs> we are going to have discussion on the method number 3 and 4 as i already told you there are four methods to approach for the non exact differential equations right after that we will done with the uh, with the first order and first degree differential equations okay guys now let's start with the with the next topic or we can say the next method so the method is what when we have a differential equation of this form okay when we have the differential equation of this form let me show you what exactly this is generally we are saying the differential equation in the form of mdx plus ndy is equals to 0 right it is said to be exact or it is said to be non exact if it depends on the del m by del y <coughs> is equals to del n by del x if del m by del y is equals to del n by del x then we can say it is exact when these two things are not equal then we used to say it's non exact right now how we can approach for this type of equation exactly what it is if we have any if we have any differential equation in the form of f1 xy into y dx plus f2 xy into f1 xy into y dx plus f2 f f2 xy into x x dy sorry x dy is equals to 0 f1 xy into f1 xy into f1 xy that we are having the function as it is into y dx plus f2 xy into x dy means other than when we are talking about m dx plus n dy dear students we used to see that exactly the m m and n it exactly it's a form of m dx plus n dy only but here in uh, m is having two parts means m is having the first thing when we have a function of fxy means the when we have a function of xy then it should multiply with y the second when we have a function of xy and it should multiply with x dy right so whenever we have this type of differential equation we can find the integrating factor for this non exact differential equation and we can say the integrating factor will be 1 by the integrating factor will be 1 by mx minus ny my dear students it is only and only possible it is only possible when it is only possible when mx minus ny is not equals to 0 it is only possible when mx minus ny is not equals to 0 right when your the value of mx minus ny is not equals to 0 you can say the integrating factor for this type of equation will be 1 by mx minus ny now remember only one thing that the function should be means the equation should be in this form f1 xy means there should be a function of xy that multiply with y into dx plus there should be again a function of xy it's not necessary that f1 and f2 are same right right it it, uh, it can be different different so again there will be a, um, another function of of uh, of xy or in the form of xy it multiply with x and it will multiply with dy only right let's have discussion on examples i will show you this is the first example which we are going to have discussion on the same form so just look at here just look at here what you are having this is the complete f1 xy right this is your function of xy and it multiply with y only yes and this is the complete function of xy and it's again multiply with x only you can see dear students yes exactly just look at here so you can see f1 xy into y dx plus f2 xy into x dy yes exactly so we can say this is my f1 xy okay let me write down here only now the question is what y or let me start with the x cube y cube plus x square y square plus xy yes plus 1 into y dx plus plus it is x cube y cube minus x square y square Minus x y plus one into x d y 
is equals to 0. So we are having exactly a function which is in the form of f1 xy means the function of xy multiply with y dx yes exactly plus function of xy multiply with what x dy yes exactly. So here we can say this is the form which we learned exactly this this is the form. So for these type of forms we can say the integrating factor will be 1 by for these type of forms the integrating factor will be 1 by mx minus ny. Now here a big question arise that what is exactly m and n from here is my m is only and only this quantity or it include this y also right. So this is a big question can arise in your mind dear students what is exactly m here. So I will tell you dear students the m will be the complete thing the m will be the m will be the complete thing means the complete thing this will be your m ok. So let me write down here m will be x cube y cube plus x square y square plus x y plus 1 into y and your n will be this complete quantity including x right. So your your n will be x cube y cube minus x square y square minus x y plus 1 into x right ok. So let us approach to the integrating factor as we know very well if 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 and only if mx minus ny is not equals to 0 then we can say that this will be the integrating factor. So ultimately we have to find out the mx minus ny. So let us find mx minus ny dear students this is m we have to multiply this complete quantity with x only. So it will be x cube y cube plus x square y square plus x y plus 1 we can say we have to multiply the complete quantity with x y because y already we are having outside yes ok definitely we can say. Now m x minus minus n y n will be what again it is x cube y cube minus x square y square minus x y plus 1 into x y again. Why I multiply with x y because here I have to multiply with y only and x is already outside the bracket ok. So let us approach it what it will become dear students when we multiply this complete quantity with x y what it becomes let me write down it will be x power 4 y power 4 yes x square y square it will be x cube y cube yes we have to multiply this one with each and every term yes when we multiply x y with x y it will be x square y square when we multiply x y with 1 it will be x y only right yes minus the same thing we have to approach here only it will be x power 4 y power 4 yes minus minus plus x cube y cube yes minus minus again plus x square y square yes and we can say it is minus x y let us check it x y and x y will be cancelled out x power 4 and y power x power 4 y power 4 and x power 4 y power 4 will be cancelled out. So we can say hence the function the value of the function is not equals to 0 exactly the requirement was this only now if mx minus ny is not equals to 0 then only you can approach that your integrating factor will be like this yes exactly right. So you can see the mx minus ny is not equals to 0 here what exactly it is x cube y cube so you can write down twice of x cube y cube plus twice of x square y square which is not equals to 0. Hence the integrating factor will be 1 by you can take common to x cube y cube plus x square y square so that you can write down here integrating factor will be x cube y cube plus x square y square only this will be your final answer my dear students. Is it clear to everyone? This will be your final answer. Is it clear? Done? So it is a very simple thing to approach we can go for this one so why I, ok now I think you know very well why I, I just do not write down here too because we know very well the the integrating factor is not at all affected by the coefficient or oh sorry the constant term and the sign. So that is why if we do not write 2 it is it's done dear students it is it is definitely work ok. So when we have options and in the option if 2 is not written then there is no need of worry you can say yeah this will be your answer only ok guys. Now let us come to the second thing 
let us come to the next thing we have one more example for the same process yes we have one more example this is y into x square y square plus 2 into dx plus x into this one so let us approach it here only let us approach here only so again we will check whether mx minus ny is equals to 0 or not dear students so I have to write down the second example as it is y into x square y square plus 2 yes into dx plus yes it will be x into 2 minus 2 x square 2 minus 2 x square y square yes into into dy is equals to 0 okay let us approach it guys let us approach it so we can say again when we uh, when we have discussion on this one we can say this is what this is the function of x y this is the function of x y yes exactly so function of x y into y dx we are having yes okay this is the function of uh, x y again yes and we are having x here so we can say this is again the form of f1 x y into y d x plus f2 x y into x dy yes exactly so yes here we can approach for the integrating factor will be the possibility that integrating factor will be 1 minus mx minus ny if and only if mx minus ny is not equals to 0 yes we can go for this one so let us approach it guys when we approach what it becomes let us let us have discussion so the m is equals to x square okay let me write down m is equals to y into x square y square plus 2 and n is equals to x into 2 minus 2x two square y square we are having yes exactly okay the first one having 2 and the second one does not having 2 okay it is okay so we have to find out whether mx minus ny is not equals to 0 or it is equals to 0 or not so we will go for mx minus ny means we have to multiply this quantity with x yes exactly and we have to multiply this quantity with y so it will be mx yes minus ny minus we will take right so when we approach here it will be x y into x square y square plus 2 my dear students minus x y into 2 minus 2 x square y square let us simplify this one it will become x cube y cube plus 2 x y minus 2 x y minus minus plus 2 x cube y cube yes here we can see the 2 x y and 2 x y will be cancel out so again we can prove m x minus n y the value of m x minus n y is not at all equals to 0 so you can say it is not at all equals to 0 dear students yes exactly when it is not equals to 0 hence we can conclude okay let me make some space for you when it is not equals to 0 we can conclude that here the value of m x minus n y is equals to x cube y cube plus 2 x cube y cube so you can write down it is thrice of x cube y cube which is not equals to 0 when it is not equals to 0 so we can say the integrating factor will be 1 by m x minus n y only hence it will be 1 by thrice of x cube y cube so what exactly thrice of x cube y cube we can we can remove the co constant term 3 so we can say the final integrating factor will be 1 by x cube y cube this will be your integrating factor hence this will be the final answer is it clear dear students so we can easily approach the things we can go for these type of equations these type of questions easily right let us have discussion on one more question we have one more question of the same pattern so that exactly uh, just uh, just to be frank dear students exactly uh, when in the get examination if you see any question belonging to, to just like this okay you have to identify by yourself only that whether the form is of homogeneous whether we can approach with the inspection method whether we can approach by this method okay which we learned right here only okay so we have to identify by yourself uh, by ourselves only right okay now let us come to the next form we have one more example for the same form so that it is exactly clears in your mind and you can easily approach okay guys now let us have discussion on the third one so we are having one more question it is y into 1 plus x y dx plus x into 1 minus x y 
डी वाई इज इक्व टू जीरो ओके लेट्स लेट्स हैव डिस्कशन ऑन दिस वन सो अगेन वी कैन से दिस इज द एफ वन एक्स वाई इन टू वाई डी एक्स प्लस एफ टू एक्स वाई इन टू एक्स डी वाई सो हेयर वी कैन राइट डाउन द एम विल बी वाई इन टू वन प्लस एक्स वाई यस एंड द एन विल बी एक्स इन टू वन माइनस एक्स वाई यस सो वी हैव टू चेक वेदर एम एक्स माइनस एन वाई इज नॉट इक्व टू जीरो और और इट इज इक्व टू जीरो सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एम एक्स माइनस एन वाई वेन वी अप्रोच इट वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन विद एक्स वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन विद वाई सो इट विल बी एक्स वाई इन टू वन प्लस एक्स वाई यस माइनस एक्स वाई इन टू वन माइनस एक्स वाई यस सो इट विल बी एक्स वाई प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस माइनस प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर एक्स वाई एंड एक्स वाई विल बी कैंसिल आउट इट विल बी टू आईस ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर ओनली सो इट विल बी एम एक्स माइनस एन वाई हैंस वी कैन कंक्लूड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम एक्स माइनस एन वाई इज नॉट इक्व टू जीरो सो दिस इज माई इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर ओनली वी कैन से डायरेक्टली द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर विल बी लाइक दिस ओनली सो द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर इज वन बाई टू आईस ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर यू कैन रिमूव द टू एग्जैक्टली द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर विल बी वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर ओनली सो वॉट एवर यू हैव इन द ऑप्शन देर इज नो नीड ऑफ वरी वेदर द कॉन्स्टेंट विल रिटर्न इन द ऑप्शन गिवन ऑप्शन और नॉट यू कैन अप्रोच डायरेक्टली ओके गाइज सो आई थिंक यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट हाउ टू अप्रोच विद द सेकेंड विद द टाइप नंबर थर्ड और द पैटर्न नंबर थ्री फॉर फाइंडिंग इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर फॉर द नॉन एग्जैक्ट इक्वेशन राइट सो वंस यू फाइंड द इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर यू कैन अप्रोच फॉर द सोल्यूशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड दैट दैट सोल्यूशन विल डेफिनेटली गिव्स यू द सॉरी वैन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर विद द विद द गिवन इक्वेशन दैट डेफिनेटली इक्वेशन विल बिकम एग्जैक्ट एंड यू कैन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन ऑफ एग्जैक्ट विद द प्रीवियस मैथड ओनली दैट इज द एम डी एक्स प्लस एन डी वाई ओके